Hey, everybody. What's <laughs> up, folks? Just here <clears throat> with Jen being weird, drinking beer, doing some reviews. <clears throat> the usual. Giving our opinion. Definitely Jen's usual. What? Well, yeah, I do. Yeah, you were going to try and <laughs> contradict me on that? No, I admitted to it. You were going to be like, I keep my opinion to myself. And then we laugh. Now this one says it's a rosé. It smells rosy. But... Like, like, like why do people enjoy like roses? Rose. Yeah. Well, I mean, is there a, a rosé? Like is a rose. as far as wine goes, a rosé is like a mixture of white and red, right? Yeah, I don't like those. <clears throat> rosé for days. Do you smell it? Do you smell the Oscar Blues Brewery? It, with a bit rose of rosé style ale with hibiscus and prickly pear. I wonder if prickly. Prickly pear. Slightly tart and highly refreshing. I wonder if prickly pear has a hoppy because it's that green taste. Wasn't prickly pear though in the. I made that with my mouth. <laughs> you were like. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't, wasn't prickly pear what is in the ultras that we were drinking? We did do those. Something in prickly pear. Mm -hmm. And also like nothing. I don't. Yeah, I still. I, I don't know. Say about make love cultures. I guess it's better than nothing. If you're wondering, uh, this is six percent alcohol. Mm. Um, <clears throat> there, there are times when I'm just like can't read you, don't know what's going on. And then there are times where like, I know you so well that when you go hmm <laughs> I know like every thought going through your head that led to that hmm. It's a weird thing about being married for a while I guess. I don't like this one. <laughs> what is rose? <laughs> it's weird, like 20 seconds later, I got hit with another flavor. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <coughs> And it's a little hoppy. I don't like this one at all. Chunky. I have no words. It's weird. You go through a process when you, you drink do. this thing. Okay, I do have words. You start off with <laughs> like a rosy, then you get like a mild hoppy with a bitter after. I get like chunky. Good God, that was like five seconds chunky. She's like, I'm gonna eat. Good, eat. You act like there's alcohol in your water. She stares at it. Cat. It's like you drink. First, I'm getting like a basic beer to me, like a. Like any kind of PBR or whatever. Then, I don't get that at all. Then it's like you're hit with this other flavor that goes from maybe that rosy taste to a little bit of a hoppiness. Then, like a couple seconds later, it's almost like a hint of rubbing alcohol. She's like, nope, I'm going back to the bathtub. And then, like ten seconds later, it's like... Uh, 
It's what I imagine like sucking on a pressure treated board would be like. <laughs> I think for it me, it goes the, through a very weird process. The hoppiness lingers for me because I still am tasting a hoppy flavor in in my mouth, which would be where you taste things. Where I usually taste things. When you're not tasting things in your mouth, where do you taste them? Because you said usually. That implies that there could be another place you taste something. <laughs> How bad would it be to have taste buds in your bubble? Yeah. <laughs> and that'd be, that'd be horrible. That would be terrible. People be holding it in, like, all the time. It's like vomiting shit out your ass. I mean, vomit tastes bad enough. It does. At least it's not shit, I mean... Never are you going to say, oh, that's the eggs I ate earlier. You know, when they tell you, when they tell you to be thankful for the smallest things, <laughs> I guess be thankful that vomit isn't shit. But there is a thing, like, where people will vomit shit. Vomit shit? <clears throat> I don't, we don't need to go into this. No, i got to Google it now. Because Google is my friend tonight. And I know there's mental illnesses where people will, like, put shit in their mouths and stuff. I mean, how far does it have to come up? Fecal vomiting. Fecal vomiting is a kind of vomiting wherein the material vomited is of fecal origin. It is a common symptom of gastrogenocolic fistula. And intestinal obstruction in the ileum. Fecal vomiting does not include vomiting of proximal, proximal small intestine contents, which commonly occurs during vomiting. I told you it was something. Can I ask a question though? Mm hmm. Why do you know this? South Park. You don't remember when Cartman was vomiting shit? I remember when he was shoving hamburgers up his ass and then all that shit came out of his mouth. Well, I googled to see if you could do that. Not shove burgers up your ass, but if you could vomit shit, you can. So you can thank South Park for that. Because <laughs> I go it caused me to Google it. It's not exactly the same thing. I wanted to know if you could really vomit shit. That is, is something you can do if you have this rare thing or unusual. It didn't say rare, unusual. You're welcome. I taught you something today. <laughs> probably taught a lot of people something today. <laughs> it's probably something that no one wanted to know, though. <laughs> now you know. That was a news thing. Not a fan of this one. No, I mean I wouldn't get it again. It's not my favorite. But I, I I don't like to hate on any kind of beer. It's just a thing for me because <clears throat> the people that are out there making beer, you, you know, can appreciate someone's craft, but not enjoy it. Yeah. And that is what I feel about this. And, and you folks that are out there making more beer for the world, that's what I appreciate about you. Is that what you appreciate about them? That is, that's what I appreciate about them. But, I'll take it down about 10 to 20%. Okay. If you like this... Uh, could you tell us why? I guess when it's when you don't like something, it's hard for you to understand how somebody else likes it. Like I never understand why you like IPAs. You don't understand why I like Dr Pepper. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I mean, I tend to as far as things that are 
like taste is like ultimately subjective. And I tend to just accept that as it is, is what it is. We're slacking on that tonight. Well, no, I thought I had maybe still something, but it was off. It would have been wasted. It was off. It was wasted. <laughs> I could have done it your way. It was off. It was, it was off. wasted. It was off. You should try again. <laughs> that is Alexis on there. It's a good show. It doesn't draw me in the way that it does. It's just, there's a little bit of a, something that really reminds me of, like, just drinking alcohol in the bathroom. You've done this? No, but like, a, you know how rubbing alcohol smells? And so you can, you can imagine and infer a taste from a smell, even if you don't know firsthand what it smells like. And that's what it reminds me of. Okay. So, I think, at least I know, for me, it's a, it's a, it's a no. Yeah. It's a no. You're not going to Hollywood. It's a no. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't do it for me. Um, what was the... It did have a 6% ABV. I mean, so in a desperate situation try and chug it. <clears throat> if it wasn't for fear of vomiting, I would say we'd try to chug like one of the higher like that or... It's an idea for later on. I'm going to throw it out there. A tart one? <clears throat> I mean, sometimes... It will not be a, a, a fast time. A good time. But. Sometimes... You just need to get a little alcohol into your system. I mean... That's how we function most days. <laughs> We're not alcoholics, I promise. But... You know... There are times where you're just like... There's an edge... And it needs to be taken off. And the best way to take this edge off is to go ahead and get a little alcohol in my system. It doesn't have to be a ton. I'm not talking about getting shit-faced. I'm just talking about let's introduce this into our system quickly. That's when like a chug or shot or something is like, you know, let's, let's make this happen and then let's go on. I feel you. So sometimes, you know, a beer is 4% alcohol. Sometimes that beer could be 6.5% alcohol. How sharp is the edge? <laughs> you know. Something to think about.